This is section 21 of The Complete Works of George Saville, First Marquis of Halifax. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Advertisement and a letter sent by his lordship to Charles Cotton, Esquire, upon his new translation and dedication of Montaigne's essays. Advertisement since the death of the ingenious translator of these essays an imperfect transcript of the following letter was intended for the press but having the good fortune to meet with a more correct copy i thought myself under a necessity of publishing it with this third edition not only to do justice to his memory but to the great person he chose for his patron m g a letter sent by his lordship to charles cotton esq upon his new translation and dedication of montaigne's essays sir i have too long delayed my thanks to you for giving me such an obliging evidence of your remembrance that alone would have been a welcome present but when joined with the book in the world i am the best entertained with it raiseth a strong desire in me to be better known where i am sure to be so much pleased i have till now thought wit could not be translated and do still retain so much of that opinion that i believe it impossible except by one whose genius cometh up to that of the author you have so kept the original strength of his thought that it almost tempts a man to believe the transmigration of souls and that his being used to hills is come into the moorlands to reward us here in england for doing him more right than his country will afford him he hath by your means mended his first edition to transplant and make him ours is not only a valuable acquisition to us but a just censure of the critical impertinence of those french scribblers who have taken pains to make little cavils and exceptions to lessen the reputation of this great man whom nature hath made too big to confine himself to the exactness of a studied style he let his mind have its full flight and showeth by a generous kind of negligence that he did not write for praise but to give to the world a true picture of himself and of mankind he scorned affected periods or to please the mistaken reader with an empty chime of words he hath no affectation to set himself out and dependeth wholly upon the natural force of what is his own and the excellent application of what he borroweth you see sir i have kindness enough for m de montaigne to be your rival but nobody can pretend to be in equal competition with you i do willingly yield which is no small matter for a man to do to a more prosperous lover and if you will repay this piece of justice with another pray believe that he who can translate such an author without doing him wrong must not only make me glad but proud of being his very humble servant halifax end of advertisement and a letter sent by his lordship to charles cotton esquire upon his new translation and dedication of montaigne's essays